Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a get ready with me because it is actually results day today and I found out what my results are. I'll speak about it a bit more in later on in the video. Um, but me and my friends are going out to celebrate and we're gonna go and have a meal tonight. So I'm getting ready and I just thought I'd film it. I asked people over on my Instagram to send in some questions so I'm going to answer as many as I can. The first question is, actually I'll answer what I got for my GCSEs first. So I got them today. I was really scared. I didn't think I was gonna pass. Um, and then I opened them and I passed. I was very excited. I honestly didn't think I was going to pass at all, but I passed maths, English, science, and PE. Um, and I still need to get my business result back because it was a BTEC, so we didn't get them today. Um, it's all a bit confusing. I honestly was not expecting to pass, so it makes me very happy. Okay, next question. Who inspired you to start a YouTube channel? I feel like I might have answered some of these before, but honestly, I can't really remember. The YouTubers who kind of like made me want to start are like um, Zoe Sugg, just because I love her um, vlogs that she does, and like especially Vlogmas. I don't know why, I just, I just love it. And then I also watch Anastasia Kingsnorth and Saffron Barker and Mark Ferris. I love watching um, his videos, they're so funny. Especially, and also when he's with Zoe, they're just so funny. Um, and Sid and Elle, I love their channel. And then like family channels, the Ace family, love that. And um, DVG fam. The next one is kind of like related to that. It's why did you start a youtube channel what made you want to start one and um honestly i wanted to start a youtube channel since i was probably like seven <laughs> um i used to you probably already know this i think i've said it before but i used to um make videos and post them on youtube when i was younger they were awful i thought i was doing really well but they were they were awful. I don't know really, I just, I find it really fun, like I don't know what kind of made me want to do it, I just thought that it looked fun and like there's so many different opportunities if you get big, which I mean probably not gonna happen for me, but you never know. So I just kind of, I don't know really what kind of made me want to do it, I think I've just always enjoyed doing stuff stuff a little bit like it. The next question is um, what do you want to do when you're older? So I actually want to do something to do with the radio. Now I never ever used to want to do anything like, like I used to want to be a physiotherapist. Like so so different to what I want to do now. Like, I want to be something on the radio or doing something to do with that. I don't really know why I've changed what I want to do, but I have. I used to want to do physiotherapy, and when I had to do work experience when I was at school, I went to the NHS work experience. I got chosen to go on that, and I... It wasn't that I didn't enjoy it. I did enjoy it. It was really interesting, but it just wasn't... I kind of soon realised that it wasn't something I wanted to do and at the start of this year I just realised I don't want to do this anymore and up to like a couple months ago I literally haven't had a clue what I've wanted to do but now I do so it's great. The next question is what is my favourite clothes cloth brand? My favourite clothes br clue. What the hell? Why can't I figure out how to say it? My favourite clothing brand? Is that what I should say? Honestly I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I would say probably like Pretty Little Thing or Misguided or um, like Topshop and stuff like that. Not like expensive ones because <laughs> can't afford them. I feel like whenever I do my makeup and I actually need to go somewhere that like is quite nice, I can never, my makeup just looks awful. And the next question is if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? So other than the UK. So I would live in America, anywhere in America really. Like, I don't know, I just, I've been to America a lot. 
Um, I think I've been to Florida eight times, which I'm very grateful for. I think it's just so pretty over there. Also, I'm doing this because even though it's not that hot outside, I will probably be sweating. So I'm literally putting powder all over my face. Would you rather be stuck in a room with spiders or snakes? Um, <laughs> neither, is that an option? <laughs> I literally, I used to be able to hold snakes. I went to, in America, we went to this place called Gatorland and I actually held an alligator there. It was a baby one, but still. And I like held a snake there too and I wasn't scared. I think as I've got older, I've got way more scared of stuff like that. I don't know why, I just have. I hate spiders, I actually hate them. I don't think I can choose. I actually don't think I can choose. What is your favourite video you have filmed so far? So I would probably say the one where I got other YouTubers to pick my outfits because that is something I'd never done before and I really enjoyed doing it. Um, and probably also the one where me and my sister did branded versus unbranded where we tried the different ones because it was just so funny. If you haven't already seen it, go and watch it to see who won. Name one thing someone has tricked you into believing or doing. When I was younger, we went in the caravan and my friends were with us and they had their own caravan. And there was like this walk that we would go on and there was like a stream. Like it was pretty cold when we went, but it wasn't like freezing. So the river basically would have been freezing. My friend's dad goes to me, oh Annie, make sure you bring your swimming costume because we're gonna go in the river. And I was like, oh, okay. Thinking it's gonna be absolutely freezing, but okay. And then I go over to my mom and I was like, mom, I need to get my swimming costume on because we're going swimming in the river. And my mom was like, what? My mom was like, it's, you're gonna be freezing, like surely you're not. And I was like, yeah. And she was like, no, like they must be like joking. And then he came in and he was like, I'm joking. And that's probably just one of them I can just remember off the top of my head, but it's probably happened a bunch of times. I like to say I'm not gullible, but I think I am. Also, I feel like this video is very similar to my l recent video, the one I uploaded before this. Um, and I guess it kind of is, but I'm answering your questions in this one, so. Yeah, I've done my makeup now. So now I've just got to choose an outfit. And like I said in the last video, I'm really bad at choosing outfits. I'm gonna pick an outfit and then I will show you. I'm actually not running late at all anymore. I did that really fast. Okay, so I completely forgot to show you my outfit, but you can see it in this picture. Um, my bodysuit was from New Look and my skirt is from um, Pretty Little Thing. And I also completely forgot to finish the rest of this video and end it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you again soon. Bye!